We're going to work with Tilly again, working on yielding hindquarters and forequarters. Yielding hindquarters is very important in part of disengaging a horse's hindquarters. And what I mean by disengaging is I want the rear feet to cross in front of each other. So when I talk about inside, it's where I'm standing. So I'm on the inside, and let me turn her for a minute to show you what I mean. She doesn't know yet, but she's gonna learn. There, good girl. What I'm talking about is I want this inside rear foot to step in front of the outside to cross. Horses are impulsion animals. I'm gonna pull that nose because she hasn't learned to yield yet. Horses are impulsion animals. They impulse from behind. Their behind end is like the gas pedal. The front is the steering. I want to get that gas pedal working well, and I also want my brakes to work. And my brakes are an emergency handbrake that every horse has if you build it from the ground up, and that's the one rein stop. And so I'm going to teach her to yield her hindquarters, and I want to get to the point where all I have to do is just point at my horse's bottom, and they'll move it out of my space. A bottom down your eye line is disrespect. So when I teach a horse to stop, I'll pick up a, the lead rope, I want them to swing that hind end around and I can point at that bottom and move that bottom a step at a time. That's how good I want it to get. I use my stick to help add pressure and to keep me at a safe distance. So as you saw, Tilly likes to talk with her feet and I want to make sure that I'm at a safe distance. So I'm going to ask her to come out here. Her leading is getting much better as she's building confidence with me. I always hold my rope overhand. It's a lot easier. I have more strength overhand than versus underhand. Underhand, I don't have the strength to pull. So you'll see, I hold my rope overhand, and I really recommend you doing that. I'm going to come in here in the shoulder area. I'm going to tighten up this lead rope a bit because if she strikes, tries to kick out at me, I can pull that nose to me and keep her from... Uh, hitting me directly with that foot. I want her nose tipped just a little bit and I'm going to rub her with the tail, with the stick. Hi, yes. Now she is a little bit of a biter and uh, that's attitude. She's gotten much better. It's not dental work. You know, as you see, she's not a constant biter. It's the constant biters that you want to get your dental, your equidentist in to take a look at. So if she tries to bite, she's going to find out that that's a wrong decision. Very good. So I'm loving her with the stick. Good girl. Now I'm going to, with my body, watch my body language. I'm going to stand here with great purpose and intent and focusing. And as soon as I get what I want, I'm going to relax my countenance. Good girl. She's going, what are you going to do to me? So I want your head over there. Nose just slightly tipped, not too much. And then I'm going to start in the air. And then I'm going to be amping the pressure, which means applied measure of pressure, amp to get her to move her bottom. And as soon as she moves, and I don't care about crossing the feet yet, this is just allowing her to understand what I'm asking. Remember, we don't go for perfection right off. That comes over time. So as soon as I get movement, I'm going to reward her by dropping the pressure. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one. Good girl! And I'm going to rub her. That's all. And rub it away. It never happened. Good girl, good girl, and let her know what a good girl. Rub her withers area. Good job, I'm very proud of you. Okay, and we'll do it again. And the point is I'm not going to have to touch her with the stick. But I'm going to start in the air a little bit, get a little energy going. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Good girl, a lot less amp that time. Very good, I don't want to hit her. Just want to create a little bit of annoyance so that she'll walk away from that. And then she'll understand. She had to go a little harder that time. Isn't that funny? Horses tend to go in little valleys at times with their training. And she was thinking, well, maybe are you serious? Or maybe you're not. So she had to find out that I was serious. Good girl. But I want to get this better. One, two, three, one. Good girl. Good girl. I'm going to stroke her neck. And I'm going to stop for a moment because that was such light pressure. I want her to think on that. I want her to get this without me having to apply so much pressure. I don't want to have to use the stick. Good girl. Very good. Good job. Very nice. And one, two, three, one, two, three, 
Good job. Good job. She's got to get to the point, though, that I just do it in the air. We may not get to pointing it with my finger today, but she's going to get it. One, two, three, four. Good! I never had to touch her. That was awesome. I'm going to put my stick down and just let her know what a good job you did. That was very good. That's what I want. And she's soon going to figure out just a little bit of energy on her bottom, focused on her bottom, means to move that bottom out of my space. Good. Oh, she got some itches. You want me to itch and scratch you for a minute? Sure. She's telling me, oh, you know, I really itch. Do you mind scratching me? No, I don't mind scratching you. Yeah, she's pretty out of shape, so she gets very sweaty with just a little bit of work. Yeah, you're pretty out of shape, aren't you, girly? Okay, we'll try it again. Okay, are you ready? And one, two, three. Awesome! I didn't even have to touch. Now, let's try it with just my finger. I don't know. Maybe she'll be ready. Maybe she won't. You never know. I'm going to try. Oh, love you. You're all right. Okay. Remember, I don't pull her nose. I just hold it there. Good. I had to add a little kissing sound so she'd get it. That was good. Very good girl. I want her to think about that because that was very special. That was very special, doing that all on her own like that without me having to touch or use the stick. 